Welcome Aries, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of July 2019. Each one of these four cards here represents each week of that month. I have also added an addition to it, the Lennerman deck, and we have two Oracle cards here. I will post that so that you can see the decks that I'm using. Please, I want you to know <clears throat> that this is just a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Aries on the planet. But if some of it does resonate, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. I know I always say this to you, but if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click that icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you into my website where you can see the services that I offer. I am now offering my 30-minute readings for $50. Feel free to go in and scope out my site. Also, I want you to know that I'm truly grateful and blessed, and I want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. When you do subscribe, please click that bell button next to the subscribe, and you'll get notified immediately when I'm out there on open air to view me on YouTube. Okay, all the other information is posted below this video. Let's see what you have for the month of July, Aries. Well, Aries, right off the bat, you, your all of our energy is the three of earth in the angel tarot, but it is the three of pentacles in the traditional tarot. And this is telling me that you're going to be either going to find a, a group you're going to get involved in, uh, you may be uh, a team leader, you may be joining a team, you may be joining a firm where you're going to have other people there with you. I do see there may be two other people, uh, this is the three of pentacles that may be uh, there advocating for you, or you may be a team of three people in the firm you go to work for. I do see that some of you are, you know, are going to be picking the brains of other people. You're going to be relying on maybe two other people to guide you, mentor you, and help you uh, achieve your goals and uh, you, to help you stand up on your podium and express yourself to your greatest potential. Um, this is to having the power of creativity, Aries, and I do see you're going to get recognized for that. You're going to get recognized by the high quality work and the, uh, the expertise, the gifts that you have uh, in your craft, in your job, in your career, that you're able to uh, demonstrate and apply uh, out there uh, at your place of employment. So you're going to be recognized for being a good team player. And I do see that this is a positive energy for you. Uh, like I say, some of you may be looking for a job. You may be joining a team. There may be two other people that are advocating for you or you're collaborating with, communicating with. Starting your first week of the month, you've been given the uh, Two of Air in the Angel of Tarot, and it is the Two of Swords. So right now, um, this is telling me that you may be in the beginning of the week locking horns with somebody. You may want to uh, uh, pick your battles wisely. I do see that uh, there is a decision and a choice that has to be made, and neither one of you wants to step up and do it. So it could have to do with something personal. It could have to do with business. But often it has to do with legal uh, issues. And I do see that maybe there's two people here that are trying to split assets, trying to uh, perhaps... Uh, you know, part ways and be fair about it. So keep in mind that compromise will come into play, Aries, here for sure. But you're, it's almost as though you're going to end up the beginning of the month at a stalemate. You're kind of stuck there. It's not quite the hangman card, but this is about you being locked up in your head. Neither one of these wants to step forward and make this, uh, have this communication to let each other know that something has to be done. So pretending that there isn't a problem isn't going to solve it. So you need to put the swords down. Uh, you know, stop locking horns. Uh, the two of you are very, very opposite. You're no longer on the same plane whatsoever. And uh, put the swords down and remove your, your uh, blinders. Um, it may be you. I tell people this all the time. That's going to be the one to make the decision. And you're going to wipe your hands clean of it and just say, well, you couldn't do it, so I had to do it, and you'll have to live with it. The water behind you in this picture, it shows me that it's not uh, turbulent, so it won't be too difficult, and you won't feel too bad about it after you do it. So I want you to move forward. It's just, you're not getting anywhere when you're, uh, you know, you've locked horns and you're at a stalemate. So you pick your battles wisely, but I think in the beginning of the week, you're going to be having a, a bit of a, uh, um, a debate, uh, you know, um, a confrontation with someone uh, that doesn't want to cooperate with a decision that needs to be made. 
in the second week, you've been given the king of water. And water signs are all about, uh, you know, emotions and being able to look at things in an emotional way. Uh, often it has to do with relationships in our lives. And I do see that this king here, uh, the king of cups, he may be, uh, you know, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio around you. Uh, this individual is going to open uh, their mind to you and help you and, and give you a shoulder to lean on. And basically... This individual is going to advocate for you and give you some trustworthy and heartfelt advice when it comes to dealing with perhaps this situation here uh, at the beginning of the week. They're going to be there in your end of the ring. They're going to be there to help you, uh, to mentor you through this. And they do this because they truly care for you. They truly, and some of them truly love you. So I do see that you're going to be able to open your heart and your mind to listen. Okay, realize that there's those around you that uh, truly care about your well-being and they're going to step up and help you, guide you through this uh, this challenging situation in the beginning of the week so know that this person is trustworthy and compassion respected and, and quite cultured and they do this out of the goodness of their heart this is telling me that you know they do this it is a charitable act uh, they don't expect uh, payment for this this could be someone too that this king of cups maybe someone uh, who may be a lawyer or maybe someone I know this is the water card but this is the king and when I see the air card uh, right next to it, it could be someone who's out there that's going to uh, help you through this. This may be a divorce or, or, or a separation settlement of some sort, but I do see uh, you're going to also have this water sign in your in your end of the ring, uh, being there to give you a shoulder to uh, to, to uh, lean on. And you know what? You're going to rise from below the water. You're going to be able to rise again, Aries, and take a deep breath of fresh air. You've got the victory card right next to that, so I'm not surprised. And this is the Six of Fire, our self-development card. And this is the Six of Wands. And it's all about new growth, and you're ready now to take action and move forward. This is all about good news coming to you on, on the way. And you're, it's going to open doors for you to be able to move forward, be able to, perhaps it has to do with the working for a team, getting the job that you want, and clearing everything that doesn't serve you anymore, moving in a new direction. But I do see that you're going to get good news coming to you. And public recognition almost people around you are going to say well wow, finally you're getting uh you're getting uh recognized for your integrity for your honesty for the person that you are and it's almost you're going to feel like it's almost like getting an award it's like wow i can't believe it i'm you know here i am i can hold my head up i'm going to ride through the village and i'm going to get I, people are cheering for you people are in your end of the ring people are happy for you people are there supporting you and they want to be uh they they want to let you know that so this is a wonderful card of being able to hold your head up high Aries now move forward it's the card of victory so the end of the month you've been given the Queen of Pentacles and again this is an amazing card of positive energy this is you know uh, the Queen of Earth in the in the angel and this is making time for people around you okay but you're going to take a sensible approach I mean she's she's very straightforward she's very um, uh, she's very grounded and she knows the abundance that she can achieve and she can acquire by looking towards a situation with a different outlook or looking at a fresh start here and moving in a new positive direction. Often money comes into play here, so I do see that, you know, some of you may be receiving money or money, uh, you know, coming into you to help you move forward on your path. But this queen represents taking time for those around you and making sure you do, uh, you take a sensible approach, okay? Pick your, again, I say pick your battles wisely. Deal with any challenges in a more kinder and understanding, more compatible manner. So uh, if you're dealing with anybody here, you know, try to win them over with honey rather than with vinegar. Uh, you know, uh, it's easier to convince people to do things when we understand and we're a little more uh, human about it. And, you know, we, we can admit our own faults as well and into the equation. So I do see, Aries, that you're going to be able to take time for someone around you. You're going to take charge of your court. Uh, you're going to take a sensible approach. And um, you know what? She moves forward. This is a card of moving forward and, and abundance coming into you. This is a card of being grounded, like I said, and starting fresh, moving in a new direction. Okay, let's see what we have here with our Lenormand deck. Well, right off the bat, you've been given the moon. And the moon is all about finding information out in the background that maybe you need to know. Uh, it could have to do, you know, with this situation here, with this legal card, with the air card. Uh, making sure you have all the information that you can rely on so that you can step out of the dark and into the light again. Uh, information that's going to help you. Uh, you know, we talked about good news. Uh, you've dealt, you've worked hard towards that outcome, and you're going to hear that good news, that information coming in. You're going to be able to see all, 
you know, uh, your path illuminated for you again and all the stars shining again. So you're not going to be left in the dark anymore. This person here uh, could be, um, you know, someone in authority, could be a, in the legal industry. Uh, this is a very, very powerful individual, someone who's able there to be an advocate for you, someone who's there to protect you, someone who's there to work for you. And uh, I do see that things are going to work out in your favor. But along the way, you, you've had problems here trusting someone. Someone around you, uh, you know, seems to slither into the equation and into the tribe and into your circle. And they have the ability to kind of stand in the silence. And then all of a sudden, they, they come forward uh, and they show their true colors. You know, there there's trigger points with this person, and then all of a sudden they become venomous, and they, they snap, and they strike. Be careful of this individual that you don't ruffle their feathers, and you don't want to get bit by their, their venomous strike. Uh, but just stand, stand your distance and keep your eyes open uh, when it comes to dealing with personalities like this. Here comes your good news. Again, we talked about the victory card, and here comes your good news. This is legal information coming into you that the letter is notarized. It will require your signature and someone else's signature to sign off on something uh, or sign to an agreement to something. So perhaps, you know, you have to sign something legal. Again, we talked about the air card here. Uh, you may be signing some sort of an agreement uh, where, you know, you someone has to notarize it. But I always see this as a good thing. It's always a, a positive move forward here for you on your path because you've got the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the King of Cups. You've got the Victory card here. You've got advocates here working for you. You've got this bear, you know, the amazing bear who's there to protect you. And I do see this as good news coming in. We talked about it, good news. Let's see what we have here for our Mystical Wisdom deck, our Oracle deck. You've been given leadership, so set your goals, Airy. okay? So you you may be going out uh, self-employed, you're going to become your own boss, uh, or you have the ability to take over a department or some sort of job where people are going to look up to you and go to you for the information and uh, what they need to know. You'll have the resources to give them. So... This is all about uh, you being able to master yourself with assertiveness and self-discipline. So I want you to take a leading role in this situation, Aries, okay? Uh, and know that your mind, uh, and, and make sure knowing that your mind over your heart is sometimes necessary when group decisions need to be made. And I talked about that here with the all of our energy, with a team, okay? Working with a team here. Define your structure, set your boundaries, and focus your attention on achieving your group goals. Again, there's your team. Stick to your plan and see it through to the end. Your strength of purpose helps to overcome obstacles and achieve the impossible. Expect an opportunity or a job promotion with extra responsibilities to come in, Aries. This may require letting go of unhealthy choices. Okay, that's all again about moving on, moving forward. All right, let's see what we have here. And I chose today to work with the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle. I thought that this would be the month of healing for a lot of people. For some reason, my guides and divines said, you need to bring out the healing deck here for the month of July. And you've got a big, big yes, okay? So you may have been answering, uh, or it's just you're going to throw your hands over your head with this beautiful, beautiful victory card and just yell to the universe, yes! Okay, that's what I'm seeing happening here, Aries. <coughs> so, you know, things are going in a positive direction now. They're going to be moving forward for you. You're on the right path, so stick to your guns and stay focused on it, okay? A recent change proves healthful. Okay, whatever you're doing is going to work out for you in a healthy manner. You know, maybe you've been stressed out. Uh, maybe you've had some physical problems going on because of stress. Know that this big yes is telling you things are going to improve. I want you to accept an offer that was made to you. There may, you know, there may be an offer that came into you and this is the yes, yes, accept it, okay? A new opportunity is imminent and yes, your feelings are accurate. So the answer maybe to your question, uh, if you've been asking a question, you probably already knew this, that Archangel Raphael wishes to validate your intuitive feelings. This card is a talisman to help you deal with current situations and prepare you for your future. Sometimes the greatest gift you can receive is knowing what to expect next. Raphael reminds you that everything can change in even more positive directions. So stay open, Aries, to your intuitive wisdom, which will guide you along the way. Wow. Wow, this is your reading, Aries. An amazing reading, I have to say here. 
Uh, I'm quite pleased with what's coming out. You're going to have a few challenges here. I get it. Uh, but you know what? You're, you've decided now where you're going to go. Just beware of this person here that you can trigger. Uh, or, you know, they come on and they're all nicey-nice and then all of a sudden they strike at you in a venomous manner. But you're protected here. Your good news at the end of the day is going to come in. And again, you're going to be able to see your path illuminated, where you're going in your future. Uh, you know, you've got the victory card here. You've got looking at things and, you know, this king being open and, and, and getting some advice. Perhaps, you know, this king energy here, like I said, is a water sign. So expect this person to be at your end of the ring and, and advocating for you and helping you with advice and doing it on a charitable manner. And you know what? You'll get over this because you're the one that's going to have to step up and say, you know, done is done. I'm making the decision and the choice here. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, this is your reading for the month of July. I wish you a great remainder to uh, this week, the end of the month of June, and to look forward to changes coming in, taking action, moving forward uh, with July coming into play. And this is your month of July. And I want you to remember something. Again, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace, Aries. So I want you to surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your happiness, your personal happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you.